welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we'll be briefly discussing RHNs or Red Hat Network IDs. What it is, what it gets you, and where to get one in case you don't already have one. Odds are you are here watching this because you've been asked for your RHN ID by Red Hat or one of their partners such as Fear Software. This could be because you purchase something such as training, are doing account modifications, or a handful of other reasons. A Red Hat Network ID, or RHN, is the account you or your organization uses to access the various Red Hat online properties, such as redhat.com or the customer portal. Here on redhat.com, and as such with many of the other affiliated portals and sites, you can find account options in the upper right hand portion of the top navigation bar under login. If you have an RHN, this is where you would log in, or otherwise you can register for a new Red Hat Network login ID. If you're registering for your organization and will need a means to delegate and manage child accounts, select corporate. Otherwise, if this is for yourself, select personal. Next, you'll set elect your RHN ID, the Red Hat login. This could be something as simple as your name. It could be a moniker or personal handle. Or it could sometimes simply just be your email, as is the case with a lot of accounts. Whatever your RHN is that you decide, next you'll want to enter your email address, select a strong password, of course, and continue filling out the rest of the form. After that, you will receive an email to confirm your account. It's important to know, though, that your RHN, the Red Hat login, cannot be changed after your account is created. So keep this in mind. In case you can't remember if you have an account or maybe forgot the RHN ID, you can go to the login page, click forgot your login or password right next to the login button. Here, you can have your RHN ID emailed to you if there's an account associated with the supplied email address, or otherwise if you know your RHN and your email address associated with it and just need a means to reset the password to regain access, you can do that from here as well. Now, your RHN is important because it's how your purchases, subscriptions, certifications, and more are accessed. A lot of this can be found in the customer portal or at access.redhat.com. Here after logging in, you can find documentation, a knowledge base, quick start labs, access your subscriptions, engage support, and much more. Now that we've covered what an RHN ID is, what it gets you or to get one, you're one step closer to being able to harness enterprise open source technologies. Thank you again for stopping by for this episode of Mysteries Demystified. Have a great day.